All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 56 of my carnivore diet. Um, it's Sunday. I took the day off from pretty much everything except the diet, of course. Um, so no gym. I literally haven't left the house. I haven't even walked outside. Um, slept in this morning, so got a good night's sleep last night and lounged around in bed a little bit this morning, sort of just surfing social media and then got up, watched some uh, World Superbikes on TV and just had a totally nice, relaxed day. And I kind of figured I, since yesterday, I had some pain from running in whatever in my knee. I thought I would give it a, a day off just to have a little bit of rest. I'll get back in the gym tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, less than a thousand steps today, probably. My weight was down again to 94 kilos, so that's 13.7 since I started. Um, but I I think that those are just due to water weight. I expect it to go back up tomorrow um, if anybody's keeping score. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. The rest of my macros are pretty good, actually. I had 1,400 calories, which is pretty normal for me. Um, don't. I know a lot of people eat a lot more calories than I do, but everybody's different. And what I've found is, is that I feel the best and I tend to, even when I'm not on the diet, if I eat more than, if I eat more than 1700 calories, I'll start kind of, that's too much for me. Um, I'm, I'm in my mid fifties now. I don't actually require that many calories. Um, if I eat 3000 calories, uh, that would be crazy unless it was like loaded with fat and all sorts of other stuff. So I had just on my macros in case anyone's wondering. So 15.2 grams of carbs, 86 grams of fat and 160 grams of protein. So a little low on the fat today. But again, that's just because I didn't eat that much. Um, but yeah, anyway, I felt OK. I've had a bit of a headache today. Um, which I think is, it shouldn't be due to dehydration because I've literally been constantly drinking water all day. Um, but I haven't had electrolytes in a couple of days, so I'll take some in the morning and then, yeah, and then we'll see how we go and I'll I'll put some water weight back on after that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I keep wanting to talk about the vegan film and I just haven't had the time to do the research, but I'll just talk about it anyway. Um, let me try and find the name of it. Um, let me see. I don't think I can pause this. Hang on, I'm gonna. Anyway, there's a there's a there's a film. I'll put it in the in the notes. I'll put the name in the notes. There's a film on Netflix um, that I watched last week. Now I guess, and. Essentially, it's a guy in San Francisco. He starts going through um, his diet and he's got some symptoms that he's trying to cure. He's paranoid about having heart attacks and stuff because I think it runs in his family and whatnot. So he goes on this sort of exploratory adventure around and talks to all sorts of people about food and about processed food. And this is why I thought it would be really interesting to watch it because he talks a lot about the animals and and the food system around meat and chicken and those sorts of things. But where it ends up, it ends up essentially as a vegan propaganda film. So the last sort of quarter of the film is him basically saying, you know, getting people on saying that, you know, you shouldn't be eating rotting flesh and all sorts of, you know, kind of um, sensational type ways of describing eating meat. And how everybody's gone totally vegan and they feel better. But what I've, but what was really interesting is a lot of the people that he had on the show had very similar symptoms to people that are on carnivore diet. And what happened with them was the same thing that happens on carnivore diet. They started feeling better. They lost weight. They were much more active. A lot of their symptoms went away. Um, all those sorts of, so they reported the same results. And what struck me, and 
at the end of it was not that I should become vegan. What struck me is, is that what's similar in the two diets is not eating processed food. And so it almost doesn't matter what sort of diet you follow. Some people will get on way better if they eat vegetables. Like they just, their bodies are, are better if they eat vegetables. Some people will get on better if they eat meat. It's just people are different and that's okay. And frankly, I don't care what anybody else does. I know that I feel better when I'm on a meat-only diet. So that's what I do. But there are other people out there and if they get good results doing that, then that's totally fine. But again, it was the not having any processed food that was the key. So I think that's a huge, huge part. And I I found it quite ironic that, you know, they're out there trying to convert everybody to don't eat meat because meat's terrible and, you know, and you should just live on a plant-based diet. But what they actually proved is that you can quite happily live on either diet. Just get off the shitty processed food that you eat all the time, and that will probably help. Now, Look, I'm sure people in the comments section aren't going to like that because this is a you know channel about carnivore diet, but there's more than one way to skin a cat, as we would say at home. And I do genuinely believe that everyone's different and something that works for me isn't going to work for you. I can have milk and dairy products. Doesn't bother me at all. Doesn't seem to affect the diet too much, or at least as far as I can tell. Things like that, it doesn't make me feel bad. All my symptoms go away. But some people won't be able to have dairy. Michaela Peterson is a great example of that. She can't have anything. But anyway, it's just... So I'm not overly prescriptive, but I did just think it was really interesting that, again, it highlighted how bad processed food is. So if you're thinking about doing a carnivore diet and you happen to stumble across this video and make it this far, um, just get off the processed food first. That's your first step. You don't even have to go full carnivore. You don't have to go full vegan. Just literally only eat fresh food that you make yourself and start with that and see if that doesn't cure most of your symptoms. And if it doesn't, then you can think about maybe going much more restrictive in one way or the other. Um, there are reasons and advantages to both, and I'm not a doctor, so you know I'm sure I'll talk about them at some point. But just get off the processed food and see what that does for you. If you're focused purely on weight loss, then I'm not sure which diet's better. I suspect that probably the carnivore diet is better and the lion diet is best. Um, so, and I, obviously I sit on that side of the fence because that's the side that I chose and that's the side that I, not that there are sides, but you know what I mean. So anyway, that was that was kind of all. I wanted to do a little bit more research and go a little bit more in depth and sound a bit more for professional about it. But um, perfection is the enemy of done, isn't it? So I just wanted to talk about it. I know I've mentioned it a few times. So look, if you're out there, just stop eating processed food. All people. I'm trying to get everyone in my family, even though they don't want to do carnivore, but I'm gradually trying to wean everybody off of all the shitty processed food that we eat all the time and just get back to cooking real raw food in a way that we know how it's made. And then the places that we go, that we choose to go to eat, we are pretty confident that they do the least amount of processing and that they, they buy fresh ingredients. Yeah, it costs more. And yeah, they're nicer restaurants. But sometimes, even in a cafe, if you're going to eat bacon, the bacon is bacon pretty much no matter where it comes from. So if you're going to have bacon and you're going to have sausages and you're going to have eggs, then those are pretty standard no matter where you get them. Um, anyway, that was all I wanted to say about that. I will put the name of it and um, a link in the show notes, show notes in the description at the bottom. So if people want to go and check it out, go and watch it. It's great. It does talk a lot about the food system and how the food is done and it will it will make you not want to eat any processed food. I can tell you that. So it's worth it just for that. Um, but just bear in mind, it is a it is a vegan propaganda film in my mind. So there we go. That's that for a Sunday evening. Um, I hope everybody had a great weekend and we will catch up tomorrow. So have a good night. Bye-bye.